What's up, everybody? James Bushell here, and I'm back at you with another video. Uh, so, of course, this video is my final prediction that Dario is the Harpy. I've done two videos in the past, uh, but I'm doing another one now due to the timing of this episode. I believe this episode, entitled Blood of My Blood, is indeed the episode where Dario is finally revealed to be behind the Harpy. Uh, first off, let's talk about the title, the episode Blood of My Blood. Uh, of course, Blood of My Blood is a style of address between Call and Blood Rider. A Blood Rider is a Dothraki warrior who has pledged his life in the service of a Call. His blood is considered the Call's own blood. Of course, Danny had her, her own Blood Riders, her own Dothraki Blood Riders, and Jorah himself is a quasi Blood Rider. Uh, he has indeed told Jorah, uh, Danny on the show and in the books, I believe, that uh, his blood is her blood. So I think this episode is all about uh, testing loyalties. Uh, perhaps, or something in that regard. Uh, particularly, though, I believe it's going to occur when it comes to Danny in this episode. I think it'll be pretty Danny heavy, and I think in this episode we will learn that Dario Naharis is indeed the head of the Harpy. Uh, now let's let's talk about some things here. First, I got to give a shout out to uh, T Baby. She is a member of the Hype Swatch, a friend of mine. Uh, she did a lot of the uh, research in terms of perhaps some things that may constitute some sort of evidence towards Dario being the Harpy. Uh, first off, in Season 4, remember the first scene in Season 4 involving Danny when they're marching uh, towards Marine, uh, Dario gives her many flowers. One of those flowers is called the Harpy Flower. Coincidence? I don't know. Later he sneaks in her room, asking Danny to send him to Yunkai with, those, with the same flower, um, in particular the Harpy Flower. Then we learn some backstory about him. You know, next season, he tells Danny he used to be a slave. Uh, and he was the one to convince Danny to reopen the fighting pits, essentially. And he was also the one to tell her to kill all the masters. So I think he's been kind of manipulating her in a way <clears throat> to uh, maybe weaken uh, her perception, perhaps. Uh, you know, we also know he asked to marry her, because I believe he does indeed have feelings for her, and... He doesn't want to outright kill her. He wants to essentially rule Marine with her, is what I believe. Uh, and, you know, he even told her that in order to rule, you have to know your surroundings. Is that some sort of veiled threat or, um, like, some advice he's given to her? Because he like he's undermining her at the same time, but he doesn't. He wants her to be on his side at the same time. Um, and, you know, it's just, like, I've always had this just feeling about him that he is the Harpy. Um, also... Uh, T pointed out that during the fight at the the, the pit, the where Drogon came down and <laughs> scorched a bunch of the harpies, of course. Um, Hisdar says he's late because he wanted to make sure everything was perfect, and uh, Dario kind of looked back and he was worried. Uh, it's all speculation, of course, but in my opinion, I believe he's the harpy, and here's some motivations or reasons why he would be. First, let's talk about his upbringing. We know that he was a slave. He was the scum of the scum in Marine. He was a slave pit fighter uh, who advanced in life. We know that he's not beyond doing some shady shit. Uh, as we know, uh, ask his f fellow compatriots uh, in the Second Sons. Um, you know, uh, he straight up beheaded uh, those, two, those fellow companions in order to join, to gain Danny's favor. So we know he's not, he's not uh, incapable of betrayal. We've seen it in the past. And I think it's sort of poetic, you know, um, seeing this former slave, this former scum of Marine, uh, the lowest of the low, uh, reaching the top. I think that's part of his motivations. Uh, of course, you know, it also got me thinking the scene from episode four, when Danny burned the calls alive and... She's coming out of the tent, out of the fire, and everyone starts bowing to her, uh, you know. <laughs> and Jorah does it immediately. You see Jorah, he's, you know, Jorah's seen this before. Jorah is on board. He's 100% Danny. You can tell. You go back and rewatch. You can see that uh, Dario's a little hesitant. Uh, he's looking around. He's thinking, man, I guess if I don't kneel, I'm going to look like, you know, I'm going to stick out like a sore thumb. 
And I think that's part of the evidence also. I mean, I, I just think that he was like, do I, I really don't want to kneel to her, but I kind of have to. It's all speculation, like I said, but it's a feeling in my bones. I don't know what it is. I've never liked Dario. I didn't like him in the books. I suspect him in the books to be one of Danny's betrayals of the House of the Undying. Um, I fully expect that. And then, you know, of course, you know, this whole um, situation in the preview... I mean, it's really quick. It's really quick. We see uh, Dario essentially walking side by side with Danny, and he says, "So they call you the, they call you a conqueror, Daenerys Stormborn," and they, they just made it a point to like make it look ominous or something. I don't know. I don't know if it was just me. Let me know if it was just me, but I think they made it a point to make it look ominous, um, like something was happening. And with the title being "Blood of My Blood," I think uh, loyalties are going to be tested, and I believe Dario will. Uh, jump ship and join the harpy or not join the harpy he's been the harpy the whole time but he's going to reveal himself finally um, in some sort of fashion uh, maybe he makes an attack I don't know I don't know yet uh, but one thing I do believe that Jorah will be the one to kill him this season uh, because in episode one when they were discussing uh, when that well they were looking for Danny we see uh, Dario's talking about, um, you know, how he, when he grows old, he can see himself being like Jora, And uh, Jora quite ominously says, if you grow old. And I believe that was uh, some foreshadowing that Jora is going to be the one to kill Dario. So I know a lot of people still don't, you know, they don't believe that Dario will be the harpy. And you know what? He might, maybe he won't be. Maybe he won't be and I will, eat, I will definitely eat crow. I will say I was wrong. Um, but I just, something, something about it. Something about it. I, I feel he is the harpy. I I think um, he's been feeding the masters of Yunkai and Astapor insider information. I think he's been leading Danny astray, making her make some bad decisions to weaken her stance in the eye of the people. Uh, he doesn't want to kill her because he you know he does genuinely have some feelings for her. Um, but I think he's about to make his move. I may be wrong. Uh, let me know if you think I'm wrong. If you think I'm right, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'm calling my shot this episode, guys. It's going to happen. Anyway, that is it for me. If you like this video, hit that like button, uh, share it on social media, and subscribe. Until next time, adios.